not a vlog, but it's a video. <laughs> I um, am doing a little get ready with me today because I am heading to work. Um, I actually have to hurry up a little bit, but I'm heading to work and I haven't really vlogged a lot recently just because the weather has been shit. It's been so bad. Even right now, there's like rainy periods. There, it, there's, it's windy, it's super cloudy. I think it's raining right now, actually. Um, oh my god, I have something in my eye. So, being outside has not really been a priority for me at all. The only time I go outside is to, like, take Kino out or go to work. And because I get ready for work every time I go, I might as well film it. So, here we are. I made coffee. I also made these. I've seen this on TikTok before. You basically grab bell peppers and you put cottage cheese on it. And then I put steak seasoning on it. I put steak seasoning on like everything. Eggs, avocado, this. Never tried this before. So let's see. Mmm. That's actually good. Anyways, I use this Refi primer. I have seen everyone on TikTok use it and I wanted to try it and it's a primer. So we'll see how it works. I am running low on my makeup. I have this Morphe filter effect concealer, but I'm gonna use whatever's left because I just hate spending money on shit like this. I really don't. Okay, that's a lie. I actually do like it um, when I have excess money for other stuff. Now, I don't only really have excess money for other stuff, so I would rather not spend money on makeup. Well, I usually use that one like for my face. It's funny, I really don't use foundation, but I basically use my concealer as my foundation because I use it kind of much like pretty much all over my face um and then I tend to want to go in with a lighter concealer under my eyes so this is the elf hydrating camo concealer and it's it's pretty it's a little too light for me so I usually just put on a little bit under my eyes because I don't want to be white under there but I still want it to brighten up a little bit under my eyes. This weather, my god, it's horrible. I don't understand it. I, it was literally like sunny and hot and warm not too long ago. And then it just came out of nowhere. And I don't like it. It just messes everything up. And it's like. Yeah, it's cool if you're just like inside watching movies and that's all you do with your time. It's kind of a vibe. But if you have to step outside for the smallest thing, it becomes kind of a struggle. And I mean, I know like people are like, well, you should be used to it. You live in Sweden. Yeah, but I didn't like it. I was, um, I'm, I, I can deal with it. Like, it's not like I don't know what to do. But I hate it. Like, who likes rain? No one. Also, I'm just, like, putting my powder. Someone, can someone teach me makeup? Because I don't really know how to do it. I literally use powder all over my face. I know some people just use it, like, under their eyes. And then, like, here. No. I need it everywhere. Or I don't, maybe I don't. I don't know. But if you know makeup, let me know. I have to say, if you don't like crunchy food, it's not for you. But I don't care. I like it. Anyways, time to go in with some bronzer. I, I love cheap makeup. I don't understand people that spend so much money on makeup when it will literally look the same. So I just use e.l.f., the e.l.f. bronzer, and I use that. I also have the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. I like that one if I have a little bit more time to do my makeup because that one kind of requires a little bit more work than just 
this like powder bronzer but that one gives more obviously this one is kind of like a matte one and I like it because I have oily skin so if I can have a little bit of matteness on there I like it because it'll turn oily and greasy at the end of the day anyways but that one does give a little bit more of a glow which I also like sometimes so I do recommend that one as well but this one elf I think this one is like literally like 10 bucks and it works amazing school is going guys it is it's a lot there's it's just weird how you can really notice the difference between last semester and this semester because I'm taking more of like actual major classes like all the classes I'm taking right now are related to my marketing major and like I I do really like my classes they're all very interesting and I see a purpose with them it's just like having classes that don't really matter and I don't really give a fuck about and then going to classes now that I do care about it should be the opposite I feel like I should feel like I should be working harder with these but it's just a transition that I'm not like I haven't been through before so just getting used to the speed of everything not that stuff is like harder um I've always like been good at school so like it's not super hard it's just like there's a lot more work and oh my god am I getting sick and the tempo the speed of everything the pace it's like you just go 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 like on to the next on to the next you don't have anyone to remind you that oh you have an assignment coming up or you have an essay or you have a group presentation you you don't have anyone to remind you about that you have to really do it on your own which i like i want teachers and professors to stay out of my life as much as possible just because i don't ugh, i don't like them but i it's just a lot to transition to and now you know but it's going well i'm doing well in all my classes we're only almost at our spring break stop which is nice my parents are coming for spring break so that will be really fun we haven't really decided on what we're gonna do it all depends on like the weather and if our car is working all of that but it'll just be fun to just spend time together um we i mean we do see each other i was there obviously over new year's but it's still nice having them out here as well and they come like just get to see our new apartment and just see our life here um although we you know we obviously talk a lot they watch my videos and stuff but it's just different when you're actually here um same thing like when having friends here like when my friend Filipa was here it's just really nice they get to see firsthand kind of what it's like instead of just seeing it on a screen when it comes to my eyebrows i honestly i just been using this um it's the l oh no what is it the ulta eyebrow gel to literally just brush them and keep them in place and then after they're like hard like after it's kind of like on there that's when i go in with a eyebrow pencil i also have to get my eyebrows done somewhere or i have to do it myself i don't know because they are a disaster when my parents get here we kind of do want to go wine tasting somewhere we don't know where yet but if you have a suggestion for a cute wine tasting spot kind of like maybe no more than two hours away from like the LA area Long Beach area comment down below because we kind of want to do that let's get drunk no honestly I have realized when it comes to drinking and partying doing all that stuff I am an old lady I really am I just don't enjoy it I really don't I first of all I don't like alcohol that much I like wine I I drink wine you know if I go out to eat somewhere I will order wine with it I will drink wine at home 
I might go out and have like one drink at the bungalow, <laughs> the pineapple crush at the bungalow in Long Beach. That one's really good because it doesn't taste like alcohol. And, but that's it. I don't enjoy alcohol. Like I really don't. I like drinks that don't taste like alcohol. Like I would much rather sit and drink lemonade than have like a fucking margarita. I just don't enjoy alcohol. And also I, I can't do the whole, because I know you don't have to drink if you go out with your friends. I get that. But I get tired. I, I just can't stay up late. I really can't. And being out and about until like super early in the morning, I just can't do it. But again, like I can do drinks, like one drink or two drinks, but it has to be early. Like it has to be at like eight, nine at the latest, and then I'll be home before 11 or 12. Because I gotta go to sleep. And people like go out at like 11 and I'm like, I'm already asleep. Guys, my makeup today is horrible. Oh, I gotta fill in my eyebrows. Maybe that's what it is. I kind of hate doing my eyebrows. It's like the most boring thing ever and it never works out. I would like not fill in my eyebrows if I just wasn't wearing any face makeup, if I wasn't wearing like mascara, but because I'm wearing all that, it's kind of like, you can't have naked eyebrows. You have to kind of fill that in. But yeah, I mean, if you're one of those people that don't really go out and you're still in college, let me know because we need to start a little club. The grandma club and just hang out like the thing is like I really enjoy just staying at home like if we can be at home Maybe make a drink or two or like have wine. I love that like I Love that you don't really have to get like super dolled up You can still look pretty and like get dolled up, but you don't have to go outside. You don't have to do all that and these bars and Places that you go to they're always so loud and I've honestly realized, I think I have, I'm sensitive to sound. Because even like loud music, I'm like, ooh, like it hurts my ears and I just can't really do it. And I don't really feel like being at a place where I have to yell at people in order to have a conversation. I guess it's just one of those days today where I don't feel cute. Crazy, the power that eyebrows have. It is wild. One, it has a huge power like when it comes to making your face look right. And then also just how you feel. Like I don't feel good if my eyebrows look ugly. But I probably should go get them done. Like professionally. That would be fun. I've done it once. But mm -hmm. the girl raised her prices. So uh, it's a little bit out of my budget. So I will find a different spot to go because I don't like my eyebrows. They're not working. You look a boy. I have about 15 minutes before I have to go. And my hair, guys, I wish I had. Okay, it's actually a time issue. I should have woken up earlier. Made sure I had time to do my hair. I kind of wanted to like curl it. I don't even know how to curl my hair. But I wanted to try it. I was going to try it last night just to like practice so I knew what to do. But I didn't do that. So I guess we're just going to put my hair up in a bun per usual. But it was nice sitting here chatting a little bit. I It feels good letting some stuff off my chest. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe. Right, kiddo? Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys in the next vlog or video. Where can I? You. Mwah.